Four and Three here back in the day, and today we are here to discuss the auction house prices of March 2017. As auction house prices do tend to change a little bit from time to time on these cars, so I wanted to go ahead and make an update video. As Forza is starting to sort of go down a little bit, as you know the holiday season's over, it's been several months since launch, and in fact we actually just had the last car pack that will be launching with the season pass. Now, don't fret, there's still going to be more car packs to come, probably. In fact, there's even going to be an expansion pack coming still, being the Porsche expansion. But, anyway, though, let's go ahead and hop on into hop on into it today with our first car. Now, the first car that we're going to use is actually going to be the most expensive car currently on the auction house, besides the ones that cost 10 million credits already, uh, as I did not include those, as they already cost 10 million credits and on the auction house, they go for right around the same amount, same amount. But anyway, though, it is going to be the Ram Runner Horizon Edition at number one, toppling the Lamborghini Huracan Horizon Edition. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is one of the very few destruction skill boost cars that's available. And thing is, though, we only could get muster up three sales to get our data from. That's not good. On average, we did 10 sales. We did 10 sales for most of the cars, but some of them we were not able to muster up all 10 sales. This one we could only find three. So the average price came out to 5,957,000 with a high price of 6 million and a low price of 5,872,000. And the reason why I think these prices are the way they are is most people that sell this car go ahead and start the price off at 6 million with a buyout at 7 million. Which is why when there was actually the low bid started at 200000 it only reached $5.8 million because I believe the next bid would have put it over 600000 So that's where that one is. Next up though, we have the Lamborghini Huracan. Let's go ahead and find it really quickly. Where are you, Lamborghini? You're far away. We have the Lamborghini Huracan Horizon Edition. Now, this one was able to muster up a higher score, technically, than the Ram Runner Horizon Edition at 6028000 with a high price of 8 million and a low price of 5239000 However, the reason that it comes in second place is I believe that 8 million sale was actually an accidental buyout. If we go ahead and remove the 8 million because it was originally And at bid that seven bought it out. So, but if we remove that though, we actually take the average price down to five million six hundred and thirty-four thousand, with a high price of six million six hundred and twenty-four thousand. Next up, though, we have a car that is kind of new to the game now. Really excited for it, as many of you are really excited about it because many of you guys have been messaging me because you guys know I got a couple of them now. And I've been saying, I want it, I want it, I want it. Unfortunately, though, I'm not giving out these cars for free or anything like that. Especially since the lowest I can sell them for is like $1 million. But anyway, though, we have the Ferrari 599XX with an average price of $3,780,000 with a high price of $4 million and a low price of $3,561,000. However, though, we were only able to actually muster up two sales. And a majority of the bids actually start at 4 million. So majority of the auctions have cars starting at 4 million. However though, not a lot of people are actually buying them for that because 4 million is a lot of credits. It is. Uh, don't get me wrong, that's a lot of money. Although for me, that's really not a whole lot because I have 19 million plus I have four Ferraris sitting right there. So yeah. But next up though, we have another car. We weren't able to quite muster up all the total bids that we needed to get, but we did muster up quite a few of them. And that is going to be this car right here. Now, I'm going to click on view because, unfortunately, you guys can't actually see it. But that is the Subaru BRZ Horizon Edition, which came out with an average price of $2,960,889. With a high price of $3,577,000. With a low price of $2,151,000. However, though, that $3 million, though, is actually kind of high up there. Although, it's actually not. Now that I'm looking at it, the 2 million bids were actually quite low. And I believe that those ones took them out because we had 3 bids total out of the 10. Or no, 4 bids 
total out of 10 that didn't quite make that 3 million mark. Uh, so, which means that the other six were actually over 3 million. So, if you have this card, you can expect to get close to 3 million credits or more on it. That, that I'd say, even though the average price only came out to 2.9 million, I think that 2.1 million that we had down the price significantly. So we have another hero, the Nissan Edition Edition. We're actually at an average of 2 million, with 5 points, and a price of 1 million. The reason why I think that this car's price on this is a little too high. And if we go ahead and remove this drop thousand to two million thousand So this one is act an accidental buyout. It went five million two hundred and thirty nine thousand. So it was a legitimate thing. I just don't know what was going on it's known and I didn't realize it. Or well known, I, I have no clue. But next up, though, we have we go across the pond from America, anyway. That is not from Japan. Uh, this is actually quite a bit of a distance from Japan, and that is the Jaguar F Type Project 7 Horizon Edition, which has an average price of 2,256,000 and a high price of 3,000,000. Price of Carbo, I'm probably actually get to it. That is going to be the Toyota Supra Horizon Edition with an average price of two million two hundred forty thousand and a high price of hundred eighty-six thousand, with a low price just shy of two million at one million nine hundred and fifty-five thousand. This car, though, a lot of people are having trouble getting because this one is new to wheel spins. But of course, people are going to be getting this car, which means prices are going to drop. Once sort of that like, oh my god, it's a Supra, sort of dies off. Because I love Supras, you love Supras probably. Uh, I mean, that that's really the only thing I think that's keeping the prices up. Because a lot of people are going to start getting these on wheels. And I think prices... Go ahead and to Chevy. Now, what car are we going to choose from Chevy, though? Hmm. We're going to choose the Chevy Camaro as our next car, which had an average price of one million eight hundred and high price of five million five hundred thousand, and a low price of three million six hundred. Or no, not three million. A low price of three hundred and sixty-five thousand, which is actually really, really low for something of this high caliber. Now, the one issue, though, is that this car had a very interesting to it. It had an average price of $1.8 million, right? Yeah. But it got bought out twice for $5.5 million, which doesn't really happen. And if we go ahead and remove those $5.5 million prices, our average price drops below $1 million credits to $987,000. With a high price of 1.5 million. So it is really affecting the price there with that high buyout, which is why I think if you sell it, you're not going to be getting that 1.8 million. Although it's possible. But I never actually saw more than 2 million before. So, yeah. Next up, though, we have another car that is near and dear to my heart. I do love this car. I really, really do. I want one. I really, really do. And that is going to be the Mazda RX-7. Now, we couldn't find a whole lot of sales for this car either. Sort of like the Ram Run and the Ferrari. Uh, but we did find that the average price was just over $2 million at $2,067,000. It had a high price of $2,201,000 with a low price of $2 million. Now, the reason why I think that this is the way it is is because most of the starting prices on these start at $2 million or $3 million, uh, And usually have like a buyout of $20 million. So, that, that's really what's going on right there. And then, the next car as well that comes in this 
is going to be the Subaru Brat, which again, we weren't able to muster up a whole lot of sales for, uh, which is quite unfortunate, which is all the way back here, this quirky little ute, which actually had a average price of 1680000 with a high price of $2,219,000 and a low price of $1,157,000. Now next up we had probably one of my favorite cars for a while. I did really, really like this car. I love how it looks. And that is going to be the BMW M4 Horizon Edition. Now this car actually has an average price of $1,032,000 with a high price of $2,686,000 and a low price of 639 so that 2,686,000 is a little bit high so let's go ahead and go ahead and delete that from our records and find out what the new price is which is going to bring it down to 1,182,000 but we still had another high price of over 2 million at 2,064,000 now our next car though i don't actually think we're going to be seeing for a whole lot longer in fact i've already have sold mine so we're just going to use a stand-in for this and that is going to be the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor Horizon Edition. Now, this car right now has a current average price of $1,530,000 with a high price of $3,577,000 with a low price of $668,000. And again, if we go ahead and remove that high price, we actually see a huge drop in the average price by $300,000 to $1,237,000. With a high price of two million two hundred nineteen thousand, so it was holding fairly steady, but we did have some odd numbers in there. Now I'm actually really shocked that this car is still holding up. I don't think it's going to be holding up much longer because it, it will be given away during a Forzathon event that's coming up. So, and most people that are still playing the game are definitely going to be participating in that Forzathon, which is why this car will probably end up at the bottom by the end of this month. So our next car, though, is one that I'm actually am shocked is still holding up. Like, seriously, this car should not be holding up as well as it is. And that is the Ford GT Horizon Edition, which has an average price currently at $965,000 with a high price of $1,187,000 and a low price of $580,000. Really, I mean, they have given this car out a couple of times now. I think I've actually have sold one already. So I've actually gotten three. Three in total. I bought one and got two for free. And I sold one of them. And it is still holding up so well. I, I think the only reason for it is because it's really good at Goliath and it has that credit boost. So if you're over like level 300 and you're VIP, it's really good. If you're over like 350 and you're not VIP, it's better than an XP boost. So that that's pretty much what is holding its price. Also the fact that its normal car starts at 400000 so then our next car, though, is very, very odd. I, I really, I this car is only being held up by one sale, which is actually putting it around this price. And I passed it. That is what I did. And that is going to be the Subaru 22B SDI Horizon Edition, which currently has an average price of 763000 yeah, that, that's actually not the actual average price. That's bad. Now, what is holding this up is we had an accidental buyout at $5.5 with a low price of $200,000. And if we go ahead, though, and we remove that $5.5 average price suddenly drops to $237,000. That is how bad this was. So this car is actually not very high up. You can probably pick these up very easily for $200,000 as that was the lowest price. So do not be afraid of what I actually just said. If you want this car, go for it. It's cheap. <laughs> so our next car, though, is actually going to be one that just came out as well, sort of along the lines of that Supra. Now, this car was actually holding very steady for a while, but quickly saw a drop off in price. And that is the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Horizon Edition which has an average price right now of only 630000 Now, one of you guys was telling me that it actually was going for $5 million on the last auction house price video. Unfortunately, the reason why I didn't have it on there was because it was not released yet when I made that video. So, But it had a high price of 900, $938,000 and a low price of 331000 So this car, even though it was going for $5 million, 
on the first day, it no longer is. It has dropped significantly in price. Now, our next car, though, is actually going to be the Mustang Boss 302 Horizon Edition. Now, this car, I'm also sort of shocked about how well it's holding on because this was given away recently during a Forza Thon event. I was lucky enough to actually get mine sold off for $2.4 million, but this one actually has an average price now of $536,000. 500 with a high price of 703,000 and a low price of 359,000. Now next up we have another American muscle car. They are really coming in here. That is what they are doing. And that is going to be the Chevelle Supersport 454 Horizon Edition, which has an average price of just 393,100 with a high price of 639000 and a low price of 221000 Now, the next... Now, all the cars after this, though, all of them have a low, lowest price of 200000 So, you should be able to pick all these up, in theory, for 200000 which is the lowest price that you can get for a Horizon Edition car. Now, on this list, of course, there, there are no other unicorn cars, uh, however, though, I do want to give an honorable mention, though, to the Lola T70. Unfortunately, I forgot about it when I was making the list. Uh, when I did take a quick look, it looks like the average price was holding around 1 million or so, 1 to 2 million. So, that's all I can really tell you on that. I didn't collect the data, unfortunately. I apologize for that. But anyway, though, let's hop on into the next list. Our first car on that list is going to be the Dodge Viper Horizon Edition, which is right here. Uh, which had an average price of 2000 with a high price of 500000 Now, again, I said the lowest price on these was 200000 So I will not be naming off the lowest price because you guys should already know it. <laughs> so next up, though, we have the Ford Focus RS Horizon Edition. Now, I'm just going to show you guys this one right here, uh, which had an average price of 312100 and a high price of 639000 Next up, we actually go all the way over to Mercedes. Where are my Mercedes Benz? And we have the A45 AMG Horizon Edition, which had an average price of $301,600 with a high price of $435,000. Next up, we go back on over to Ford. Hey, Ford, how's it going? Where is Ford? There's Ford. Now, I think it's actually kind of back here, so we're just going to go ahead and stay back here. And it is going to be, oh, where is it? Oh, wait, hold on. I swear it was right here. Where is it? I, I swear. There we go. There it is. The Escort RS Cosworth Horizon Edition. Right now, guys, we just... Next set of cars name off their average price i'm just going to show you guys the car of the jaguar xj220 horizon edition then we go back over here to ford again which there are a lot of fords in this game guys that is just ridiculous so many fords look at that it's like ford and ferrari are the two biggest ones and they're almost right next to each other uh i have this car somewhere where is it uh, here, here, here's the non-Horizon Edition, but it's the Ford FPV Ute. Next up, we have a BMW. The BMW 1997 M3 Horizon Edition. After that, though, we go over to BAC. And we have the BAC Mono Horizon Edition. After that, we go all the way back over here to Polaris. Where is Polaris, Polaris, Polaris? Polaris, 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 and it is going to be the Razer XP EPS Horizon Edition. After that, we go to MG and have the MG Metro Horizon Edition. After that, we go to back to the Corvette Z06 Horizon Edition. Just to show you, but it is the Corvette Z06 Horizon Edition. Then we have the Mercedes C63 Horizon Edition, which we're just going to go back this way again. Which most of you guys should know what the Mercedes C63 AMG Horizon Edition is. Uh, because it's also the best way to make money in the game right now. 
if you don't have one of these, uh, or, well, you technically don't need one because you can just use my map for it. But you just run down the freeway and it gives you lots of money and lots of XP. That's all I'm saying. But you have to do it in a bucket blueprint bucket list challenge. So really cheap. You can pick it up for 200000 really easy. Then our last two, though. Our last two could not even muster one bid. That's how bad these cars are. Well, they, they got the one bid to actually sell, but they didn't get anything else above that. And that is going to be the Lamborghini Countach, which was given away for free after Lamborg after Forza. Forza accidentally screwed up and a DLC car when they meant to they they meant to send that car but it was a DLC car so a lot of people who did not own the DLC could not actually download the car so and then we have finally the last car which could only muster up a total of four sales that's how bad this was four sales in an hour at minimum price and that's the Mini Cooper S Horizon Edition which finally sold for 200,000 average highest and lowest same with the Lamborghini Countach that's how bad they are but anyway though that's where we're going to wrap it up for today if you guys like the video go ahead and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so great and make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time thank you guys so much for watching peace out